Hello everyone, my name is Fangs, and welcome back to Slime Rancher 2. I did a little bit of work um, getting our conservatory up and running to be a little bit more efficient than it was. Um, we managed to get most of our pens upgraded now, so we're collecting plorts, we're making money. We've got these adorable little slimes. Well, little, perspectively. And um, so I decided to move everything around here. I got the two gardens over here growing the food for these guys and the food for these guys. And we're growing their preferred food. That way we get four plorts at a time. Uh, because that is the thing. If you feed a slime their favorite food, you will get four plorts instead of two. Now, these phosphor slimes I combined with Tabby. I got these last night on the live stream. And uh, their favorite food is a stony hen, or if I remember correctly, yeah, I don't remember at all what a phosphor slime's preferred fruit is. Oh, a cube berry. Cube berry, that's what it is. Um, and since I didn't have any chickens, I wanted to get chickens, because you never know when you're going to need to do that. So I wanted to get chickens in here, and yeah, I... I don't know why I'm explaining this so much. But to start today off, we are going to get a brand new tool called the Resource Harvester. Because really, to progress any further in the game, it seems like we need this thing. So let's go ahead and upgrade this. There's $450 down the drain. And, um... Did it do anything? Uh, it doesn't... I thought it would give me, like, a drill or something. But maybe I'm just going to be able to suck up the items now. I guess let's go find one of those rocks. I've seen a bunch of the resource nodes, and now the moment I'm looking for them, I don't remember where any of them are. <laughs> so, oh, wait, there was one right here. Yeah, okay, so it doesn't say anything anymore about need a tool to harvest, so do we just suck this? And yes, we do, jellystone. So the mineral node stays. We can only, like, I guess we can only pull a couple resources at a time. We'll just send those straight back to the refinery. And that means we need to do a lot of these. Now, I wish these would be marked on the map or something. So we get two per jellystone, it seems. And there is no way of tracking this. We don't have um, any direct way of like knowing where they are outside of memory. Oh, well, we found a treasure pod. And we get an emerald cypress tree. Yeah, uh... I found a couple of those last night on stream. They, they're they just in these little random coves. There's so much like little, there's so many little coves that you can explore and locate stuff that I like didn't even think of looking in, which is really cool because there's like a big reason to explore then. Also, uh, let's just grab some of these, I don't know. So I guess the main thing we have to do is walk around and look for the nodes. Oh, oh there's a pink Gordo here. How did I miss this yesterday? I I genuinely never even saw that this existed. Um, well, you're on my map now, but let's go ahead and feed you a bunch. Nope, Tabby Slime, get out, get out of the way, Tabby Slime. I'm trying to feed a pink. Sl Whoops. I'm trying to feed a pink slime. All right, he's about to burst. I just need a little more food. Do you eat the babies? No, you don't eat babies. Also, someone told me I was murdering slimes by putting them in the water. No. I'm sending them back where they came from. It's the slime sea, after all, and they're slimes. Oh, wait, this is a, this is one of those teleporting things. This is like the pedestal area that we lowered before with one of those buttons. Oh, wait, there's a button. How did I miss all this? I missed so much yesterday. Oh, I can get up here. Oh, I didn't even think I could. Oh, treasure pod. Man, these things are hidden everywhere. Overjoyed statue. I'm glad that we have a counter, so that means I've found three out of 14 treasure pods in this area, so there is quite a few of them here, somewhere, hiding. Okay, surely we have enough now to open up this Gordo, right? No, oh yes, we do. Okay, awesome. Boom! Yeah, we got a water. Wait, did I need to take, oh no, okay, it's gonna continually fire. Okay, I didn't need any of that stuff. Got some more jelly stone, that's good. I need a lot of that stuff right now. Oh, wait, is there some hidden up here? This seems like a good spot. No. But now, if we press this button, we're going to lower the teleporter pad. All right, where does this teleport us? 
Ember Valley. The ancient world stirs beneath your feet with every step. Okay, well, what's what slimes are going to be here then? Because I see pink slimes, but there has to be other slimes. You know, I noticed that um, on our plorts board, there are actually two slimes that are not there. The, like, glitch slimes from the first game and the radioactive slimes. Because I don't think there's any green plorts on the board. So that would insinuate that they're gone. Okay, there's a water geyser there. This area is marked death. It's angry anglers. Oh, no. Angry, angry angler. That was almost like a tongue twister. That was, that was hard. Oh, this is such a cool little pond. It, that's so cool. It's so cute. They got like little glowy candle type things. I heard like a little jingling and uh, apparently these were right above me. Radiant ore. This is uh, one of the things we need for one of our upgrades for our vac tank. So we need it. Wait, I think I just heard another one. Oh, cool. This is uh this is a geyser to get up. So wherever these rocks that look like uh, circular objects are, and that's the way you get up to the next level. Oh, what's that? A baddie slime. A fiendish stalker of the night, hungering always for fruit. So it's a fruit bat, and that's really cool. So that means they spawn in this area, probably in a cave, I'm gonna guess. Oh, probably right here. Oh, I guess I guess the the strategy is probably bounce on these heads to get up to there. Yes, there's ore over there. Let's check out this way first. Oh, water slimes! I've been wanting to get puddle slimes for so long because puddle slimes are one of the cutest slimes in the game. And we got a vac tank. Nice. So it seems like those treasure pods are actually going to be vitally important. Right there is another one. So we need to get over to there. Probably another one over there as well. There's ore there. So maybe be able to get up that. We probably need the jetpack to reach some of these places because I'm going to assume that that's in the game still. I don't know for sure that it is, but I would think. Man, where, where, did, we, where did we see that treasure pod? I feel like it was up there. Meaning we probably can't access it right now. Another one of these robotic bugs here. I know I'm on a mission here, but that hasn't changed anything about these geysers. They're still fun as heck. I think I can afford a few minutes for a splash like the old days. All right, so there was a sense of urgency to whatever was going on with this guy. He was on a mission to accomplish a briar hen. I forget what their purpose is. Oh, here's the bats. Wait, what are you? Crystal slimes. Oh. Oh, man, we've got so many. I don't have the thing for the those slimes, so I think we're just going to grab some. Oh, wait, no, you're a Rocco. I want crystal slimes. Crystal slime. No, I needed to grab him before he did that. We want to grab just a couple crystal slimes, um, and we're going to take them back. We're probably going to need to farm up and buy another area of the conservatory. That way we can get more slimes. Because right now I'm kind of, I've kind of uh, filled my area, so to say. I don't know where this is going to take us, but let's go to infinity. Oh, wait, what? We can't reach that. Okay, so there is like a little bit of limitation that we're going to need to wait and get the... We're going to need to wait and get like a jetpack like I've continually kept saying. So let's head back to the conservatory and see if we can craft it yet or if we can figure out if there is one. Unsurprisingly, the bats fly and they also carry the crystal slimes, so... Yeah, that, that is, this was a terrible idea to bring them here. Back at the fabricator, though, we do not have enough money to craft the jetpack, but we do have enough of the ores, so we can do that easily. We also almost can get a tank booster. We just need a little more jelly stone, so I'm going to grab that. And then as for the rest of it, we really don't have much else. We're going to need to get more. Also something called a flutter port, so that's another new slime. A little bit of plort farming later, we can now get the jetpack. There we go. Looking for Jellystone, I came across another one of these little robots. I grew attached to this tree when I first discovered it. I used to sit here and tell it all about myself, but these days it's too different. Wait, no, it says, <laughs> but these days it's different. No two. I see myself in it now, two different paths struggling against the other, bound to this island and changed by it. But unlike this tree, I hope to leave the island someday. I want to find a way home. 
I really do. A pink honey slime. I don't think I've ever seen that. I've never done that. And that's just... I feel like it's wrong. <laughs> I feel like it's wrong to make a honey slime, a pink honey slime. Oh, a treasure pod. What do you got for me? Dash boot module. Ooh, okay. Uh, I kind of want to drop down that hole, but I don't know where it goes. And I don't know if there's like something here. So there was a bridge across to there. Ruins. Uh, the bridge is no more. Trying to keep an eye out for nodes and treasure pods and other resources like that right now. Also looking for the map pieces because I haven't found any of the maps over here in this like area. Also found two more slime doors that I need to... One of them I don't know what kind of uh, plort it is because I've never seen the slime that it shows before. So I'm assuming it's a new one. Um, and the other one is the tabby slime. Hey, wait, there's more of these raccoon statues. What are like these raccoon squirrel statues? These have to have a purpose. There is something about these. They serve a purpose somewhere. Having the jetpack is life-changing in Slime Rancher. It always makes the game a lot simpler to traverse things and try and find stuff. Oh, no, I don't. Oh, I do have enough boost. Let's go. All right, anything here? Does not appear so. I feel like there's a... Oh, a honey Largo. I want to go up against this guy that way. It marks him on my map. Diet Nectar. Nectar? Wait, does nectar come from the hives? No, this is buzzwax. I do need buzzwax, actually, for certain parts of my building. Or not building, but fabricator stuff. So I do want to be harvesting that when... Oh. Whoa, what is this? Can we traverse this? No, it's just like a solid wall of LSD. Well, that's interesting. I'm sure that has some kind of implication. And more raccoons. Wait, pogo, f wait. Flutter slimes, wait, these are, these are not, I thought these were honey slimes. Wait, these are new, these are flutter slimes. Did I get, wait, did I get all the ones that are right here? There was only three of them? Like snowflakes. I couldn't read what they are, but that's so cool. Flutter, it's like a monarch butterfly slime. That's so cool. And their diet is nectar. Well, how do we get nectar? Where's nectar? What is nectar? Do we grind up honey slimes? Wait, what? That said plort. Nectar and fruit. Well, I think obviously what we're gonna do is we're gonna have to pair it with someone else. Um, that way we can give them these preferred food of someone else. Because I have no idea. Wait, what is that? Moondo nectar. Oh, wait, get away from me. Let's get rid of these cube berries and grab this nectar. Very sweet, but very sticky. Handle with care. Yeah, so it's this nectar piece. However you go about getting... Oh! A ringtail gourd. Wait, those statues are of an actual new uh, new slime. Yeah, I don't care that you're there, lucky slime. You're always there to tease me. That's so cool. He's so cute. It's like a gigantic raccoon. This slime looks a little angry that half of its head's missing. Um... <laughs> Oh, get away from me, Tar. Oh, I bet the nectar drops from these flowers. Yeah. All right. Uh, we'll just grow the nectar at home. We're going to have to buy a new uh, expansion to the farm because I want to grow nectar. That's so cool. Wait, maybe we combine the bats and the nectar. Two flyers together. So slimes explode out of there. Oh, wait. this That goes down. Oh, a map fragment. There we go. Okay, so this is kind of like a ruin area. Um, we've got, we definitely have, there's probably like two map things back here that I'm missing, but we finally found one of these. Oh, there's a Rocco Cottontail. I haven't got to see that yet. Ah, that's kind of cute in its own way. I, I don't know if that's my preferred version of the Cottontail or the Rocco, but interesting enough at least. Oh, wait, there's a map piece. There we go. We got another one of the map chunks. Now there's just one more hiding somewhere. There's probably also a treasure somewhere near this one. Man, that would have been really funny to put one there and make you like tiptoe down that to get it. Oh, yeah, there is treasure pod. And Violet Warp Depot. It's that two gadgets that allow you to remotely transfer resources between two points. 
Well, that'll be really useful. That's one of the things that I wish I could find more of are those refinery points. I've only found the one in the beginning of the game. I haven't found one in this biome anywhere yet. We have a nice vantage point up here and kind of see the area. I do not see a map piece anywhere here and it has to be this way somewhere, which is rather interesting. So it's somewhere in the beaches or over there. Oh, there it is. Wait, right there. All right, we're going for that before I go home because I can get there. Oh, right, I knew right where this one was, and I said I just needed the jetpack in order to get it. And now that I have the jetpack, I can get it. I think we can make this. If I if I miss this, then I'm bad at Slime Rancher. I'm good at Slime Rancher, I told you guys. Yeah, there we go. We've almost got another entire biome discovered today. And in that, we know where the Hunter Slime is, we now got those two, and we also had the Phosphor Slime I, got, I did the pink slime. I found that last night on stream. So I think we've got everything we need. Well, not everything we need, but we have some stuff to do today still. I made it back to the conservatory just at the break of dawn with the nectar and the flutter slimes. And we have nowhere left to build right now. So, uh, yeah. I think this is a cave over here. This, I'm not sure what straight down is. And, um... Looks like Rainbow Field, basically. So what I'm thinking is, let's go ahead and get this one that's straight down behind us, because this gives us uh, another five plots then. And we can kind of just grow stuff from there. Should be $1,800. Yeah, the archway, $1,800. That's a good $1,800 spent. Now we get to go explore down here. Let's see what this new area looks like. Oh, that's really cool, actually. I can't explain why, but wow, it just looks cool. <laughs> so let's add a garden right here. Um, that way we can grow the net. Wait. What? You can't grow nectar? Oh, uh-huh, yeah. You cannot grow nectar. That's, I'm very surprised by that. I don't know if that's something they haven't implemented yet or if that is a actual decision. So we're gonna wanna pair the flutter slimes with a different food source because we don't wanna be dealing with that. I was thinking bats, but I don't exactly know what the bats require to eat. So we might need to look at that real quick. We also need an air net on this pen for the flutter slimes because otherwise they would just fly out. So yeah, the bat slimes have a favorite food of a pomegranate. So for now, we're gonna combine the bats and these guys together. And, oh, that's actually, that's really cute. It's kind of like, it kind of reminds me of Yuzu the VTuber, but that's really interesting. Uh, that's not how I thought they would look. So it replaces the bat's wings with the butterfly wings and basically just gives them bat ears. That's really cute. Um, for now, we're just gonna leave that guy as the only bat because I don't know if he'll die out here in the sunlight. Um, so if I come back later and he's dead, I know they will. And we're gonna need the cave. I guess the bat slime should be in the cave anyway. Um, so I don't know why I didn't buy the cave instead. I'm a, I have a small brain, guys. But as for this nectar stuff, we're gonna have to store it up and keep a stockpile because we can't farm it, which is still extremely odd to me. I feel like that's something that Slime Rancher normally doesn't do, which is that you can normally farm everything you need. Hey, you get out of there. <laughs> I've got these rogue batty slimes from earlier. Also, uh, I just thought about, we do want to upgrade our chicken coop because we're kind of relying on this to be our food source for the phosphor. I don't know what good elder chickens are for, but uh, yeah, hopefully we can grow up a bazillion of these guys and then we'll be able to feed our phosphor slimes easier. With the last little bit of income that I have right now, we're gonna go ahead and grab tank booster two because that'll be 40 units of items into each vac tank, which is a good bit of items. I also would like to get an extra purpose vac tank, but uh, yeah, we need silky sand, which I'm not sure where to get that from. I'm assuming one of the beach areas, so we'll have to explore around. Rock port's easy and new bucks easy. And eventually we need a water tank, but we need deep brine for that. That's the hardest thing, because now we know where puddle plorts are, so. Just as I was running through, a golden slime had just popped out of there and took off running. That's, <laughs> that's so unlucky. 
It said diet none, so I don't even know what you feed to them anymore, because it used to be like a very special food item, if I remember correctly. Also came across another treasure pod up here on the top of this mountain. We're going to get a small boulder. So I guess there's a lot of cosmetic items now that you can get and kind of decorate the world. If so, that's really interesting, I guess is the word I would use. Wait! There was a ringtail slime. There's a crime, there's a ringtail slime. This is, I think, the very first one I've seen. Yeah, because, oh wait, there's another one. Wait, the statue's gone. Wait, are the statues actually ringtail slimes? But the statues have been in the same spots and I've never seen these before. I don't know, we have two of them now, so I'm interested in that. Oh, what are you? Pomegranates, rich in mineral. Oh, it's pomegranate as, it's a rock. <laughs> That's super cool. All right, and then we got a stalagmite. Oh, what are what is down here? We're just going to ditch that because I want to grab whatever this other slime... Wait, what are you... Oh, wait, that's what I just ditched. Oh, we got a, a bat large gordo. Batty gordo. Boom slimes. They look so good. Okay, we do need to actually grab some boom slimes because we are going to need those for the... Oh, what is this? Molten... Wait. Lava dust. Wait, so those water... Those water spouts are actually where we get, like, the sand bottles and the brine and all of that. I've been looking for it, and I've already found everything that I need. Wait, what is that? Oh, it's a boom slime that had already exploded, I guess. I feel at home here. Is your home hell? When I traveled across the glass desert, it was caves just like this one that gave me shelter and allowed me to survive my trek. Just feeling walls around me and solid ground beneath my feet gave me all the security I needed to close my eyes and make it through another night. But I can do without some of it. Like if I ever even smell roasted cactus again, I'm pretty sure I'd barf. <laughs> I mean, roasted cactus, that's uh, probably very uh, sticky. Oh, there's another golden slime. I don't have anything to feed you. Oh, wait, what? Wait, I don't have to feed him anymore? Wait, okay, we're getting rid of the jelly stone. I don't care. A golden plort. Wait, you just have to hit them now so they don't eat. You hit them. That's crazy, actually. Get rich or die sliming. That's a good pun. Let's see what the value of the golden plort is worth right now. That's $422 in one go. Um, Do we, do we sell it? I mean... It's not really worth the money to me. I feel like we should probably put it in the refinery because if we need it for any crafting recipe, these are really rare. Um, can it even go in here? Yes, it can. Gold plort. So we're going to invest it in the future. Hopefully no one just screamed inside when I did that. I don't know if that was a good or dumb decision. All right, let's do a little bit of sliming. We're going to start growing the pomegranates right here since we have the bats. Um, we'll grow them over here for now since the bats are here, and I think that makes the most sense. Uh, those butterfly slimes can eat it, and they'll also become it. Let's go ahead and get a corral, and also high walls, and we also want an air net, and a plort collector. Just spending all my money. <laughs> but we're gonna dump the boom slimes in here. Uh, we're not gonna... I don't know what to merge. I think we'll merge them with the crystal slimes. But we're also going to grab a corral and upgrade the high walls as well, and then put our ringtail slimes in here. They eat everything, fruit, veggies, and meat. So that's really cool. They're like raccoon, or like... Wait, what? So they are, the rocks are them. Wait, do they become rocks during the day and they become... Wait, are they only active at night? Is that the secret? That's... <laughs> that's really interesting. So lastly for today, guys, I want to open up this slime area here with the phosphor slime, Gordo. Let's go ahead and feed him a bunch of fruit. He's gonna burst with excitement. So it looks like it is... 30? Yeah, it's 30 of an item to burst them. Suck up all the phosphor slimes for the moment. Just because I don't know what I want to do with them. Um, so we have jelly stone. Quite a bit of jelly stone. And there is a tabby slime door here. 
Well, I think this is going to be a perfect spot to end the video for today because we leave it with mystery and in the next video we can open this door. So with that, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, take care and have a good one.